this is Dawn Compton, the pastor at Main Street United Methodist Church, and I am here today to bring you our weekly Wednesday Word. We are in our last week of our Summer of Love worship series, so I thought it appropriate to come back in front of one of the, the love signs that we have here in Bedford and to share this passage of scripture with you, this word from 1 Corinthians chapter 13. If I speak with human eloquence and angelic ecstasy, but don't love, I'm nothing but the creaking of a rusty gate. If I speak God's word with power, revealing all his mysteries and making everything plain as day, and if I have faith that says to a mountain, jump, and it jumps, but I don't have love, I'm nothing. If I give everything I own to the poor and even go to the stake to be burned as a martyr, but I don't love, I've gotten nowhere. So no matter what I say, what I believe, and what I do, I'm bankrupt without love. Love never gives up. Love cares more for others than for self. Love doesn't want what it doesn't have. Love doesn't strut, doesn't have a swelled head, doesn't force itself on others, isn't always me first, doesn't fly off the handle, doesn't keep score of the sins of others, doesn't revel when others grovel, takes pleasure in the flowering of truth, puts up with anything, trusts God always, always looks for the best, never looks back but keeps going to the end. Love never dies. Inspired speech will be over someday. Praying in tongues will end. Understanding will reach its limit. We know only a portion of the truth, but what we say about God is always incomplete. But when the complete arrives, our incomplete will be canceled. When I was an infant at my mother's breast, I gurgled and cooed like any infant. When I grew up, I left those infant ways for good. We don't yet see things clearly. We're squinting in a fog, peering through a mist. But it won't be long before the weather clears and the sun shines bright. And we'll see it all then, See it all as clearly as God sees us, knowing Him just as He knows us. But for right now, until that completeness, we have three things to do to lead us towards that consummation. Trust steadily in God. Hope unswervingly love extravagantly and the best of the three is love friends i hope you are enjoying this summer of love contemplating what it means to truly love god and love others I want to lift up a few announcements, ones to, to let you know, remind you that we are ending our Summer of Love time with a tie-dye celebration. It will be Sunday night, August 1st at 6.30 in our Washington Street parking lot. You can come and be able to tie-dye a shirt or some socks, a tote bag, or a hair scrunchie. We'd love to have you come and enjoy that time together. We are also participating with the National Night Out that is on August 3rd. The whole Washington Street area behind our church is going to be blocked off. Lots of groups are going to be coming. We'll be supporting the police officers as they try and connect with the community. And it'll be our opportunity to reach out to the community as well, especially since it's right there at our church. 
If you'd like to come, just come anytime between 6 and 9. If you have a church shirt, we encourage you to wear it. And uh, we're just going to have some fun that evening. And then lastly, I want to remind you that on Wednesday, August 4th, our men are having a picnic at 6 p.m. It will be at Dallas and Brenda Foran's house. All the men of the church are invited. And if you plan to come, please let the church office know so we can have a head count and know how much food to prepare. Friends, I hope you have a great rest of the week. Are enjoying this summer, this summer of love. I look forward to worshiping with you our last Sunday in this series. And we worship at 1030 in person or we can worship with you online. God bless.